John chapter 11. Okay, so this is the raising of Lazarus from the dead. And really the only takeaway here that we need to understand what we're really being taught here is what did the Jews believe about being dead for four days? So in the time of Lazarus dying, um, you know, where Lazarus dying and where Jesus was is about a distance of 20 miles. And so Lazarus, we see, is deathly ill and a messenger is sent on foot, maybe on foot, maybe on on donkey or whatever, but a messenger is sent to Jesus because Lazarus is Jesus's best friend. Laz you're going to see here in, in John 11 that Jesus loves very much Mary and Martha, Lazarus' sisters, and Lazarus is considered like his best friend. And so Jesus is called upon basically to come heal him. And Jesus purposely waits two days before he makes the journey from where he is in the Jordan to um, uh, Bethany, the town of Bethany. So as I read this, and it's, it's pretty long, <clears throat> but as I read this, understand what the Jews believe about being dead four days. So while Martha is kind of making a big deal about, you know, the Lord opening the grave because she knows after four days there's going to be an odor. She knows the body is decaying and changing colors. So in the Jewish tradition, during the days of Christ, um, th th that, that teaching is that the body is not truly dead, um, and it's not finally dead until the fourth day. In the Talmud, it says the whole strength of the morning is not till the third day. For three days long, the soul returns to the grave, thinking that it will return into the body. And whenever it sees the color of its face change, then the soul goes away forever. It leaves it. So in other words, the soul hovers around the body for three days after death, hoping for a re-entrance. But once the body starts to decompose and the corpse changes color, the soul knows there's no going back and the soul departs once and for all. So we got to keep this in mind, um, what the Jewish tradition is of the day. Um, so to put it bluntly, right, the man is actually really dead. Okay, there's no going back. The soul has left forever, no re-entry. Jesus knows their thinking. He knows that this is their tradition. He understands that. So as I'm reading John 11, now you understand that and why Jesus waits. <clears throat> John 11, 1. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany. Bethany, by the way, means house of the poor. So this is a very poor family. Of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. See, so the Lord loves Lazarus. When Jesus heard that, he said, the sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. The Son of God might be glorified thereby. So Jesus knows the plan. He knows, I'm going to give it four days because the Jews do not believe resurrection is absolutely not possible on once the body is dead four days. The soul has seen the decay, the, the face changes color, and the soul leaves forever. Okay, so Jesus knows that, and he knows that God, the Father, is going to get all the glory by doing this most miraculous miracle. This is the most, according to the Jews' eyes, in that day, this would be not, not possible. Only God could do something like that. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, and when he heard, therefore, he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. Then after that, say to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. So you see, the Lord knows it's a two-day trip. So he waits two days, so he will arrive on day four, when in Jewish eyes, not possible for resurrection. The Jews actually believe the soul can resuscitate the body in the first three days. Okay, so 
So we got, we got real clear purpose here. It's a different kind of miracle. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou there again? You're going to go again? The Jews want to kill you. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If any man walk in the day, he stumble not, because he see the light of this world. If a man walk in the night, he stumbles, because there is no light in him. These things said he, and after that he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleep, but I go, that I may awake him out of sleep. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest and sleep. And Jesus said unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off, and many, again, about 20 miles. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Mary, or I'm sorry, then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary still sat still on the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. You see how, how strong their belief is? The, 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 the sisters is saying, God's will be done. Whatever God wants, it will happen. Faith, blind faith. I love that. That's, that's kind of what we're seeing here, blind faith. Jesus said unto her, thy brother will rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So she's not really, she's not believing that he's going to rise then, but she believes in the promise of the resurrection. But she's also saying earlier, if, if God's will be done, God's will will be done. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. That's one of the I am's only found in John. By the way, the story of Lazarus is only found in John. No one else has this story. Only John has this account the story of Lazarus rising from the dead. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall, be, yet shall he live. And, so, and whosoever live and believe in me shall never die. Believe you this. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly saying, the master is come, call for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now, Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews, then which were with her in the house and comforted her. When they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then, when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should have not died? Jesus, therefore, again groaning, and he's frustrated in a sense of, Where's their faith? So that's that's what I get from this groaning in himself. You know, kind of like, where where is the faith? You know, they're kind of... Again, it seems like there may be complaining going on here. Uh, groaning in himself, coming to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, take away the stone, Martha. The sister of him that was dead saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinks, for he has been dead four days. Okay, so you understand what the Jew Jews know about this. Jesus said unto her, said, I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I know that thou 
hearest me always, but because of the people which I stand by, I said it that they may believe that thou hast sent me. So Jesus is using this time. He waited, you know, he's, he's here on day four. He wants everybody to see the true magnificent glory of God the Father through him. So he's really trying to get into these Jews' hearts. <laughs> okay, John 11, verse 43. And when thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And that was dead, came forth, bound, hand and foot with grave clothes. And his face was bound about him with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, loose him, let him go. Then many of the Jews, which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Tattletales. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we, for this man doeth many miracles? If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man shall die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. And thus spake he, not of himself, but being high priest, that, that, hold on, okay, sorry, um, let's see here, he, okay, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation, and not for the nation only, but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Then, in verse 53, Then from that day forth they took counsel together for two, for two put him to death. Jesus, therefore, walked no more openly among the Jews, but went thence unto a country near to the wilderness, into a city called Ephraim, and there continued with his disciples. And the Jews' Passover was nigh at hand, and many went out of the country up to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. Then sought they for Jesus and spake among themselves, and they stood in the temple. What think ye, that he will not come to the feast? Now both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were, he should show it, that they might take him. And all God's people said, Amen.